Hi everyone, welcome to your first Parenting Inside Out online course offered through Northwest Family Services. My name is Miranda Lucas and I am so excited to welcome all of you here with us today and we can't wait to jump in and share some great content for you. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and start with some of our content for this week. What is Parenting Inside Out or PIO for short? PIO is an evidence-based curriculum created by parents, instructors, educators, and scientists. Some of the main topics that we'll be covering throughout this 12-week course are as follows. Creating a safe place to work and learn together, communication and problem solving, connecting with your child, child development, healthy families, parenting more than one child, parenting children as individuals, values and a plan for parenting, child guidance, challenges in parenting, and parenting practice. So like I mentioned, this class is 12 weeks long, and for each of those weeks, we'll be focusing on one of these different topics. You can also refer to your yellow workbook. In the front of the book, there is a table of contents labeled PIO topics that lists what we'll be covering each week throughout the course of the 12 weeks. So if you want a little bit more information about what each week will look like and what you can expect, you can look at that page as well. Hopefully between all of these topics, there will be a at least a couple that will resonate with you and your specific family dynamics because we, um, we hope that there's something that you can take from it and learn from it. I'm sure there's a number of reasons that you are joining us here today, and we are so excited to get to hear from you and touch base with you and be able to kind of see what brought you to joining this class. But our main goal is to provide you with research-based parenting information to equip you to make informed parenting decisions. I know myself and my colleagues, we are so passionate about children and families and parent education, and we love to be able to share the content that we have. But just as much as we love sharing that, we love to be able to learn from all of you as well. And we are so excited to have an online platform where we can create a community of families and parents and educators where we can all learn from each other. So really one of our main goals in this is to share our own information and our own experiences to help better and to help um, to help other families learn and grow as well. So we're going to go ahead and jump into some of the class logistics and how this class is set up and how it's going to function over the next 12 weeks. What it will look like is each week you'll receive an email with a link to watch our weekly video for that week. Sometimes the videos will be split up into multiple videos and they'll be labeled accordingly. So for example, it might say week one, video one, or week one, video two. So you'll just have to make sure to take note about the order of those videos and make sure you're watching them in order. Aside from the weekly videos, we expect that you complete all of your assignments. We're gonna dig in in just a few minutes a little bit deeper into how the workbooks are set up and what your assignments will be. Next, we're gonna expect that you participate in a weekly coaching phone call. You'll be assigned to a parent coach and during that phone call each week, you'll discuss with them your assignments, any questions you might have, and just kind of talk about and engage with the content from the week. Lastly, we're gonna require that you attend at least two virtual meetings with the class facilitator. This is gonna look like having open office hours where you can jump onto an online platform and engage with one of the facilitators about the content that we've been talking about for the week. Now I'd love to introduce you to all of our parent coaches here at Northwest Family Services. Like I mentioned earlier, my name is Miranda Lucas. That's my picture in the middle of the screen. I grew up in Clackamas County and I am so thrilled and excited to be able to be serving the county and I, the county that I grew up in. It's, it's got a huge place in my heart. Um, I have a huge passion for families and parents and children. I taught elementary school for five years as well and love being able to educate kids, love being able to spend time with adults. And so I'm so excited to be here with you guys, being able to share my experience and my wisdom and also to learn from you guys as well. My colleague, Samantha Furlow, has been working with us for a very long time, um, also has a background in education and is a wealth of knowledge and is so excited and um, ready to jump in and connect with you guys as well. And our um, parent coach, Miranda Hughes, her picture's on the bottom there, is another excellent parent coach that we have at Northwest Family Services and has a huge heart for families and kids. And between all of us, we are so excited to collaborate together and to work with you all and to do our best to support you and um, yeah, give you give you 
you guidance during this time. So with that being said, each of you that's enrolled in this course will be assigned to one of us. One of us will be your parent coach and we will be your primary person of contact. So that means you can call us, text us, email us. We'll be the ones that you send your assignments to and we'll just be your point of contact for, um, for the the time that this that you're enrolled in this course. So with that being said, while you do have one of us assigned as your parent coach, the three of us will work very collaboratively together to um, do our best to serve you as best as we can. So one of us will be reaching out to you soon if we haven't already to make our first point of contact with you. Now we'll go ahead and discuss our workbooks. So our yellow workbook that you should have is a lot bigger, and this workbook is more of reference articles, information, class activities, um, different handouts that you can read, things like that. And so this is one that we will be referring to very often during these videos. So you're going to want to have that really close to you so you can reference it. If we pull up a picture of something on the screen, you're going to want to have it near you just so you're ready for that. Your other one is going to be your purple workbook. This one is a lot thinner. This workbook consists of all of your learning goals and a lot more of written assignments that you'll be completing throughout the class. So as long as you have these two workbooks near you every time you're watching this video, you should be good to go. We're gonna be switching back and forth between yellow and purple. So we're gonna to wanna to make sure that um, you're in the right book. So just make sure if you're flipping through one and you can't find the right page, double check to make sure you um, are looking in the correct book at, for that worksheet. So have those with you and you should be good to go. How we're gonna collect your assignments is you guys are going to, after you complete an assignment, take a picture of it and email it to your parent coach. And during that time, um, we will review all of your assignments, check them off, give you feedback on them. We'll talk about them during our weekly parent coaching phone calls with you as well. But just to keep things simple, instead of having you turn in your workbook in person, we're going to have you take a picture, email it to us. And if you have any further questions about that, you can contact your parent coach and we'll provide more information in our weekly emails as well. If you flip to the front of your purple workbook, there is a page that says portfolio checklist. And on this list, it will outline for you all of the assignments in that purple workbook. So if you are confused about what you need to complete or what needs to be done, this is a great place to refer to. If you do have someone that you are requesting that your parent, parent coach reports to on your behalf, we will refer to this portfolio checklist to let them know which assignments you have completed and haven't completed. So this is a great reference for you because it's the same one that we're going to be checking off your assignments with as well. In any class, it's really important to have a community agreement. Typically, if we're meeting in person, what we would do is we would all brainstorm together what makes a really positive classroom environment and what have been some of our not so positive classroom environment experiences. Thinking back to when you were maybe um, a kid in elementary school or in high school, maybe in college, what are things that made it that made school a really good experience for you and what are things that maybe you wished were different? And so typically we would come up with those together and we would create an agreement about what we want our class to look like when we all come and meet together. For the sake of our online class, um, it looks a little bit different than we would typically do it, but some of the things that we're going to put in our classroom agreement would be the following things. That you would be present and watch each presentation, that you would complete all required assignments, that you would be prepared for each of your parent coaching phone calls, and that you would participate in at least two virtual office hour sessions. So as long as everyone agrees to those and follows through with them, um, that's going to make our class run a lot smoother. And so we're really excited to jump in and do this content with you guys, and we hope that you will be in agreement with us for that community agreement. All right, with all of that being said, we're going to jump into some of our content for this week. Each week we'll be focusing on a specific topic. So for the first week, we're going to be talking a lot about effective communication skills and emotion regulation. Each week we will have some takeaway messages. These takeaway messages are specific things that when this class is all said and done, or when this week is all said and done, you come away with a little bit more knowledge and a little bit more confidence or wisdom on, on these topics. So for week one, these are the takeaway messages that we hope that you'll come away with after you're finished watching these videos and after you finished your assignments and having your phone calls with your parent coach. Our takeaway messages for week one include 
Deciding what you want your children to be like when they grow up is an important part of deciding how you will parent them. There can be many tools in your parenting toolbox to help you get your parenting job done. Emotion regulation is a valuable tool for becoming aware of and managing emotions. Learning effective communication skills is one of the most important jobs of parenting. And effective communication involves cooperation, the expression of empathy, and negotiation. So like I mentioned earlier, these are things that we really hope that you take away from this lesson. And so what we do each week with our takeaway messages is we kind of take all these things, put them in our brain, and we turn them into a learning goal. So the next thing we're going to do is create our learning goal for week one. So by the end of the class, you will have 12 learning goals. Each week, you'll write one that's based off of the topic for that week. So if you open up your purple notebook to hand out 1.2.2, the very first one, it'll say learning goal one on the side. And in that, on that learning goal page, you're going to write on the top, what is a specific goal that I have for this week? What is something that I really want to focus on? So thinking back to our takeaway messages, we talked about how do we want our kids to be raised? What are some goals that we have for them? What are qualities we want to see in them? Why is emotion regulation so important? Why is effective communication so important? So anything relating to those topics would be a great learning goal. Some example learning goals that you could include could be, I would like to learn how to speak to my son in a way that invites him to say more and to not shut down. So if you really feel like I would like to really focus on communication, maybe you have a specific area of communication with one of your kids that you really want to work on. That could be a perfect learning goal for you. If you want to focus more on emotions and understanding feelings, you could have a learning goal that looks like this. I would like to practice acknowledging my feelings and understanding why they are important. It could be something as simple as that. So on that top part of the learning goal, you're going to write what your learning goal is. You are always welcome to borrow the learning goal that we show in the lesson or create your own. Either one is a great option. So you can take a few minutes and write down a learning goal that you have for this week. If you need some more ideas of learning goals, in your yellow workbook on worksheet 1.2.1, there is a completed learning goal page that is another example if you would like to get some more references there. That's worksheet 1.2.1 in your yellow book. You'll also notice that there are two more questions on this learning goal page. The second question says, how did you accomplish your learning goal? What did you do in class, hear from others, or discover while doing your homework that helped you learn what you wanted to learn? So that question, you're not going to answer right at this moment because we haven't jumped into all of our content for this week. But after all of these videos are completed, you're going to go back, answer that question, and think, what did I learn that helps me get one step closer to reaching that goal? The last question says, tell one way you can use the new skill, idea, or attitude that you learned by accomplishing your goal. So you can kind of look at this one as an action step. What's something that I would like to try to put into practice, maybe in the next week or the next month or whenever it's accessible for me to do that? What is the next thing that I can try to implement, a new skill that I learned to help me reach my goal?